hi friends welcome back to angular tutorial in this video we are going to know about angular module so we will learn what is angular module what it is consist of and what is the use of it okay so we will learn each thing step by step so basically module is a mechanism to group components directives pipes service and some other related things we already know about components we will know about pipe service in our upcoming videos okay so the main thing module is the large things where multiple things are there for multiple purpose as an example if we say we are going to create where user is a module and inside this module there are several tasks like a login a register forward password these are the small small tasks okay so this each can be treat as the component so now you got idea what is the module and what is the component so difference between module and component so don't be confused with these two things so now we need to know how we can create a model and how to use it so very simple so just go to the terminal and to create a module we need to write ng so ng command and g for generate m for module suppose my module name is users okay so right here users okay so you can see the user module is created so if you go to the visual studio code we can see inside the app a users module is created so basically when a module will create the main file of this module will be the users.module.ts so my module name was users and here the class name became the users module okay so this is the naming conventions in angular so as it's a module we cannot remain it blank basically we already told you module is consist of the components pipe service and many other things okay so let's create a component because we know about the component so we will create a component inside this user module we already discussed about component in our previous video so here i will just create it and we'll show you how to use it inside the model okay so to create a component we need to just simply write ng comment that is ng g for generate c for component and suppose inside the users they have many tasks like login a register so first we will create a login okay and i want to create this component under the users module so we'll set the path to create a component so here just write the users okay users slash login that means when a component will create it will create under the users folder okay so just enter this so here we can see the four files are created that is the component files we already discussed about all those things and a users.module.ts is updated so if you go to the visual studio code we can see inside the users we are getting a new folder that is the login folder that is login is basically component so here we can see the login component dot css dot html and dot spec dot ts and this is the login component dot typescript file that is the login component dot ts and as it is under the users module so also you can check users dot module dot ts is also updated and you can see the it is imported the login component so as you create a new component or new things into a single module all those things we need to import inside the users module dot ts that is the main file of this module okay so to display anything from the login component we need to write something into the html file so just go to the users.component.html file and here we can see the by default it is saying the login works so here we will write inside the h1 tag i will write some different text that is this is from login component okay so now as we want to display these things from the users module so we need to write in a users module so we can see there is import some things and there is a declaration that is the login component as we need to create a export for the login component so this is the class file 
that is the login component so basically these things are same as this so this is the class name okay so we need to export this in users module so like import we will create a new array that is exports array okay so we are creating exports as an array because because in future we need to export some more things so just use the export array and just use the login component here okay so all the things are ready for users module now i want to use this login component from the app component as the main component so i want to see this output from here so how we can see this so this is basically coming from app component so this is my main component we need to modify inside the main component module so we need to change the app module dot ts so here we also need to import our module so like here so here write import and curly braces and name of the module that is the class name of the module that is users module so write it here users module and we need to set the perfect path so just here write from and inside the users so inside the users we will get the user module.ts file so simply just write users and before that we need to add the dot and slashes and after that the users dot module that is the name of the file so we don't need to write ts here because we just need to write the file name that is the users module okay so this is the users module and same like we need to import this into here so inside the input array just add the comma and add the class name of the users module so this is the class name that is users module so write it here okay so all are set in the app module dot s now i want to display this output from here so to display the output from login component we need to use the selector from the login component type file so here we can see the selector is app login so i want to see this output into here so just go to the app component.html file and here i want to add the selector so the selector name is app login okay and just close this so if you just go to the browser we can see the output from the login controller so this is from login component okay so this is the extra arrow here so we need to check why this is coming so if you go to the login component we can see there is the duplicate okay so just now we can see this is from login component and this is from app component so now we can understand how to get the value from component using any module to the app component so now one component is ready inside the users module so same like we can use any other component also so here we have a login component so in this way we can create a register component inside this users folder so just like right here register okay and we'll get a new folder that is register and same like we will get all the files so just write in the register component.html file so here write this is from register component okay so write inside the h1 this is from register component okay so the component.html file i have uh, altered now we need to export this from users module because we are inside this users module so just go to the users.module.ts so we can see the register component is already imported but we need to export this so just add a comma and write register component okay so in this way we can register this and we need to use the selector to see here so for registrations we have a selector that is app register so very simple so just copy this and go to the main component.html file this is 
app.component.html file and now here paste the selector that is app register and we can see the output so this is from register component so in this way we can add multiple component from a single module okay so this is the way we can create a module and inside this module we can create component and in this way we can make a project with different different module so don't worry we will create a project with angular after topic wise discussion so next day we are going to discuss about how to call a function we will create a button and we will access the function by the button event so don't miss this video please like and subscribe this channel for upcoming video and if you have any queries about this video please comment in a below comment section so thanks for watching this video have a good day bye